Hi, this is Kai. Welcome to another video of our Particle Photon for Beginners series. So these next couple of videos may be a little heavy since I'll be exposing a function called toggle lights to the cloud and calling them using two different methods. First, we'll explore how to use the curl command in the terminal and then we'll build this app locally and call the function from the command line interface. So let's get started. I've already gone to the build.particle.io website and as always I have my particle reference document open just in case. I've gone to code and went to create new app and then typed in this app called function. Now this is where our story begins. <laughs> On my particle board I've attached an LED to uh, D0. And so I'll go ahead and create a variable to reference this pin, and I'll call it LED. So I'll type in int LED is equal to D0, excuse me. So now whenever I want to reference this pin, I don't have to remember D0. I could just remember, oh, LED. Sweet. So let's go ahead and start off by creating the pin mode. And this is going to tell our program what the purpose of this pin is and so I want D0 to be an output pin I want to write some power so that I can turn this LED on and so that's why I've done pin mode LED which is what I'm affecting and in this case it's this D0 pin and then saying that we're gonna make this an output and then also I'll go ahead and start the program off by automatically writing this as a light that is turned off. So again, I'm passing in the pin D0, reference, referencing it by calling it the variable LED, and then writing it as low so that when this first starts up, my light is going to be off. Now we'll go ahead and actually write this function that we want to expose to the cloud. And so I'm going to call this function something like toggle lights. And we need to make sure that this gives us a return type, and I'll make it an integer. So what this means is when we write our program, or rather, excuse me, our function, um, when it's done doing whatever it does, it's going to return a, literally return a number to us. So in this case, if everything works out, then it's going to return a 1. I'll tell it to do that. So if we execute our code and everything goes as planned and everything is good, then return this number one just to indicate that it's it's working. Also, whenever we call functions, so if I was to call this somewhere else in my code, like this toggle lights, you have to put in some sort of parameters, even if there's nothing, and you indicate that by doing this empty parentheses. So right now, since we aren't saying that we need to enter parameters we could go ahead and just put an empty parenthesis but we'll go ahead and change that actually we do want parameters to be entered whenever this function is called and we'll call that variable a uh, string called command so really what I'm saying is whenever I call this function now you need to enter something in here and whatever you enter between this parentheses it better be a string because that's the only thing I accept so for now I'll get rid of that and so what I'm gonna say is if someone puts in a string right here that says on then I'll go ahead so if and so whatever the string is this becomes this variable called command and now I can reference it in the function so if command is equal to on I want to execute this function and for now, the only thing that this function is doing is returning an integer called, well, with a value of 1. So when I call this function, it's just going to say, hey, this is working. This is going well. 1. That's what 1 means. You can smile. Uh, but I want this function to actually do more than just return a 1. I want it to go ahead and do that. That messed me up a little bit. I want it to digitally write. I'll do a digital write, excuse me. 
and I'll explain this in just one second. LED, hi. So I actually, when I call this function, I wanted to turn my light on, and so that's what digital write is going to do. It's going to write to this pin D0 with a high current so that it can now turn the light on. And just like that, I'm almost done with being able to expose this function to the cloud. What I have to do now is go ahead and do particle dot function. And then I enter in what I want the function to be, uh, what I want it to be called on the cloud. So I'll go ahead and give it the same name, toggle lights, excuse me. And now the actual function I want this to be is also going to have the same name. I want it to be toggle lights. So I'll pass in the function name right here, toggle lights. And let's see if we can verify this code. And it's compiling, and this code compiles. So we have good code. But, you know, technically we have an error. Um, you know, if our users type something in like digital, excuse me, if they pass in the function uh, toggle lights with the parameter of on, I mean, they did type in on, so we know that they want the lights to be on, but, you know, the, it's case sensitive, so it has to be exactly with the capital O and a lowercase n, but in this case it isn't. So we'll go ahead and make this a little bit more user friendly by typing in or passing in two uh, pipe symbols, which mean or if the command also equals this lowercase on right here. So if we pass either on or on, it'll work. We'll ret uh, we'll get a status of one, meaning that this function worked and everything is good. But what if we type in all caps on like this? Well, I want that to work as well. So I'll go ahead and pass in another couple of pipe symbols and then put command is equal to all caps on. Go ahead and zoom out a little bit and we'll verify this code. So the code is verified. Great work. Now I'll flash my device. Go to devices and make sure that the device that's connected or if you have two devices connected, make sure the one that you want to flash has this star next to it right here. So we'll go ahead and select that device and I'll flash it. So now your device should be changing colors and then breathing magenta. Cool, and initially when we set this up, that light should be off because we wrote this digital right LED low. So now let's call this function using the curl command. First, well, before opening up the terminal, I'll go to my reference document and I'll go down to particle function and I'll check out this sample curl command or curl request example, uh, excuse me. And now I need to pass in some values that are specific to only my device and my account. So I'll put this in a text editor since it's rather hard to edit text in a terminal. All right, we'll start by entering our device ID and we can go into the IDE right here and go down to devices. Now, the way we find our device ID is by toggling this little whatever it is. Anyways, click that, copy this string right here. We'll put that right here where the device ID should be. Then next, it wants us to enter in the function name. In our case, we didn't call the function brew. We exposed it to the cloud as a function called toggle lights. So I'll copy that. Go back to pages and I'll pass that in. And now we need the infamous access token. Dun 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 dun. I'll go to settings in the IDE. The access token is present right here. And again, it's very important that you don't share this access token with anybody. And I'll be resetting my access token after this video. Go back to pages and I'll pass that in. So let's see. I think I messed that up a little bit because I don't want all that fluff. Otherwise, it's not going to work. 
go ahead and I will pass in that value. Now, before okay, so if I have a space right here, or if I have a space right here, this isn't going to work, so make sure the command is uh, written exactly like that. And then next, the args is going to be the parameter that I'm passing inside of this curl command. So that would be the same as if I called the function right here and then wrote um, toggle lights and then passed in some parameter such as on. So in this case we'll be passing on inside of there. So this is the same as if I do it here. So in this args field I can type in I can type in on, I can type in on, or I can type in on because that's how we set it up over here. We said that if this command, so if this argument, meaning it's going to be synonymous with command right here, in this case, if it's on with the capital O, lowercase n, or on with lowercase or etc., then this command is going to in fact work. So I'll go ahead and copy this, zoom out, open up the terminal, and now let's pass in this command. Let's paste and I'll enter. And now we see a return value of 1, which is what we told it to do. So there's the integer part of the function. And I know I didn't really explain the whole integer in front of the function very well in this video. In the next tutorial, I'll go over that a little bit better. And also, if I look at my particle photon, the light should now be on. So just like that, we've exposed our first function to the particle cloud and we've called it using the curl command. In the next video, we'll be adding some more functionality to this toggle lights function so we can pass in a command such as off um, or blink or whatever we want. And we'll be working locally, so we'll call the function uh, via the command line interface as well. So. Be sure to like and subscribe, and as always, feedback is appreciated. Thank you, guys. Have a good one.